me today I'm going to show you how to make white bread. This homemade white bread recipe is my best pick for making sandwiches. And when this gorgeous bread is fresh from the oven, all you need is smear some butter on it to savor every bite. My white bread recipe has a slightly glossy finish on the inside. It is soft with a slightly crispy crust exterior that you love. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Megwin. Welcome to Weppa's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. 3.5 cups of strong flour, 1.5 teaspoon of active dry yeast, 1.5 teaspoon of sugar or honey, 1.5 teaspoon of salt, 2 tablespoons of softened butter, and 1 and 1 fourth cups of warm water. Add the active dry yeast in a mixing bowl with a quarter of a cup of water, then add the sugar. Stir and set aside for 5 to 10 minutes until it's foamy and the yeast is activated. Keep in mind that the water temperature must be 110 degrees. The yeast will die if the temperature is much higher and it won't activate if the temperature is much lower. In a separate mixing bowl, add 1 and 3 4 cups of strong flour. Add 1 and 1 half teaspoon of salt and mix. Add the remaining warm water into the mixing bowl and gently mix at medium speed until the ingredients come together. I'm using a handheld mixer, but if it's not available, you can also just use a hard spoon. I like to use strong flour for my white bread recipe because it has a higher protein content compared to all-purpose flour. Higher protein in flour directly relates to the amount of gluten that will then give structure to the bread. Gluten gives the dough the elasticity, the strength, Structure to hold all the air bubbles created by the yeast. That's what makes the dough rise up really nice and big that will turn out to be a delicious bread. When the yeast is activated, it will appear to be foamy. Pour the yeast mixture into the mixing bowl. Now, gradually add the remaining strong flour and continue to mix at medium speed for about 5 minutes. Add 2 tablespoons of room temperature butter and do this 1 tablespoon at a time. Flour a clean workspace, then transfer the dough onto it. Lightly flour the dough, then knead for about 5 minutes. Kneading helps to develop the gluten in the dough which gives strength and structure to the bread. Continue to knead until the dough is smooth and elastic. Form the dough into a ball. Brush some butter into a clean bowl, then gently place the dough into the bowl and lightly coat the dough with butter. Cover with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel. Let it rise for 45 minutes to an hour at room temperature. When it has doubled in size, flour a clean workspace and transfer the dough onto it. Gently pat the dough and form a square shape. Take the top of the dough and fold it down to the middle. Then, take the bottom part and fold up to the edge of the dough and then seal. Just gently pinch the edge. Fold in the sides and pinch to seal. Turn the dough up so that the seam is at the center. Jelly place the dough in a buttered loaf pan. Cover with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel. Leave it for about 1-2 to two hours to proof at room temperature. When it has risen, we're ready to bake. Preheat the oven at 220 degrees Celsius. Bake the bread for 15 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 190 degrees Celsius and bake for another 30 minutes. When the bread is done, take it out of the oven and immediately remove it from the loaf pan so that it won't steam. Let it sit in a wire rack to cool. 
This white bread is so delicious. I love the crust and its soft interior. I love to use this bread for my sandwiches. Or I just simply spread some butter or peanut butter on it. Hope you'll try this recipe and if you do, please take a picture and tag me. I'd love to see your creation. Stay tuned for my beef sandwich recipe using this gorgeous homemade white bread. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!